I'm back from my trip. Did you guys miss me? Let's go. YouTube's favorite designer fragrance tournament continues. The clock starts now. We got number 19 going head to head versus number 82. So we're climbing out of the 80s and we're starting to get into the 20s. So it's going to start getting a little harder and harder for you guys to vote. Maybe. We'll see. What's going on YouTube fragrance family? Welcome to Mark Madness to see which fragrance will be YouTube's king of the designer game. The contestants today at... Number 19, no, no, let's go underdog first. At number 82, it is Abercrombie and Fitch's Fierce. Yes, I didn't remove the sticker in the back. Um, <laughs> this is a an oldie bottle. Uh, Fierce, yeah, uh, a mall scent. Yeah, a mall scent made my top 100. At number 19, we have Burberry's London for Men. Um, a staple for me, I think one of the best, if not the best from the house of Burberry. They're both in Mr. Siage's bracket. His link is down below. Go subscribe. Go show some support. Now, let's take a look at the contestants. We always start with the underdog. Let's not show any disrespect to the underdog. Let's, let's get to it. Um, I'm just going to give you a short little rundown on uh, Fierce. If you've never smelt the fragrance, maybe I'll help you vote. Let's get into number 82, ANF's Fierce. Fierce... Um, if I recall correctly, first, uh, Fierce was one of the first mall scents that truly pushed the boundaries as a scent that actually lasted and did its thing. Um, it lasted on my skin. It projected well. Um, it lasted on your skin. You know, a lot of these mall scents lasted like three hours, then your quits. Um, so that was quite a feat on its own. And I was rather impressed when I first smelled this fragrance, not because of the construction. The construction of it's actually not bad. I'm not going to poo-poo it just because it's a mall scent. And I'm not going to poo-poo it just because it's an A and F type of scent. But um, it did last on my skin. It's a woody aromatic fragrance that utilizes uh, fur. So it, it has that green aspect to the fragrance. It, it utilizes a lot of musk that a lot of mall scents do. And some citruses. So it's a very straightforward fragrance um, that can be worn almost all seasons. Again, great for fall. As much as it was hated because they pumped the scent through the <laughs> through their stores. It was equally loved in the fragrance community. So Fierce from a &F, not a bad scent. Now onto the big boy, Burberry London, the Christmas tree in a bottle. Um, again, I think arguably the best Burberry has released in the men's game, arguably. So um, I call it the Christmas tree of uh, <laughs> the fragrance game just because that's what it smells like. Um, it sounds like, a, it smells like a, a, a pine tree. Um, it, it smells like Christmas. It smells like Thanksgiving. Um, it really has that little coat on it. And that's what this fragrance does. It kind of warms you up. Um, it, it has that comfort level to the fragrance. Beautiful mix of woods, spices, port wines, cinnamon's really nice in this one. One of the best from the house in my opinion. Longevity and projection, kind of average. Best worn during fall. I love wearing this during the fall. Also during Christmas, Thanksgiving. Um, I know that's a cliche, but it is what it is. And everything else in the middle of it. Um, really a solid scent from Burberry. So there you have it. Burberry London versus ANF Fierce. And the rules, let's get back to the rules. Anybody that's new to this, I'm gonna run them down real quick for you. You got two fragrances in front of me. They go head to head. How do they win? It's you, the subscribers that vote for one of these with your YouTube account name. If you have several, good for you. You got seven votes. <laughs> if you vote more than once, it's not gonna count. You're only gonna get one. I may mean, just remo remove all your votes just because you're being a jerk. <laughs> There's 24 hours as per um, this video being shot or uploaded on YouTube. Once that this video is uploaded, you got 24 hours to vote. After that, I'm going to put in brackets in the title that says closed. That means gone. You can still vote. Just give me a comment to, to get my analytics up, but that's about it. Um, that's all you're doing. You're helping my channel. Other than that, your vote doesn't count. Um, that's about it. The way it works is, of course, I tally up all the votes. The one that has less votes, gone out of this tournament. 
altogether. You're not you're not getting a second chance. So vote for your favorite. Doesn't matter if it looks like it's going to be a landslide. I've seen that that later on uh, a certain fragrance got more votes and actually won. Um, and then of course the other one goes into round two. We're still in round one now. Um, there are PDFs down below in the description. You can check out the um, the brackets. There's the heart notes and the base notes. Uh, we're still in the thick of things, so it's good to either download it or you can even print them off if you wish to do so. Uh, some results are in. There's tons of results that are in because I've been gone for like three, four days. So you guys are probably itching for some results. Um, I'm going to do one today. Um, that's all I have time for today. Um, and it's for this one. Gucci put on one and Zerius Rouge from Givenchy. So those results are in, and where is my garbage? There she is, and with a score of 45 to 20, fairly low score, not a lot of votes for this one, Zerius Rouge, see you later, brother. <laughs> Gucci Purim 1 uh, joins his little brother, Gucci Purim uh, 2, that has advanced already to round 2. So uh, the Gucci brothers are staying in the brackets for round 2. Happy about that. I really like those two cents. So good to hear. And as always, please, again, if you vote, give me a like. I'd like that. <laughs> Thank you so much. And have a good one.